Hello everyone and welcome! My name is Jake and today I wanted to talk to you about Starfield and a recent rumour going around about the changes to the combat system. Now this rumour did originate from 4 channel places so take this with a very large tablespoon of salt. So the rumour is that id Software, the developers of the Doom series, have been very hands-on in helping develop the combat for Starfield over the last year. Now I think everyone can agree that one of the biggest complaints with the Starfield gameplay we were shown last year was that the gunplay just didn't look very good. There was no gore or reaction when enemies were being shot and the guns looked incredibly underwhelming to say the least. So it wouldn't be too much of a surprise if Bethesda had used one of their studios who were known for their excellent gunplay to help out with Starfield after the very mixed reception with the premiere. Now of course there were other areas of the gameplay footage that caused a lot of concern amongst the community, but I will talk about all of those things in another video, today I just want to focus on the combat side of things. Now there are a few things and improvements that we already know about thanks to the ESRB rating that came out for Starfield just last week. We know that there is blood, which shouldn't really come as a shock, and there very likely isn't any gore. The ESRB rating simply states that there is blood, uh, but there is no gore, so that doesn't necessarily mean there isn't going to be any gore at all. Sometimes these ESRB ratings just don't specify every single thing within the game, but I would be willing to bet that there likely isn't going to be any gore. Uh, due to this. Now, from what I've seen, fans are very divided with this decision. Uh, Fallout 4 had an excellent gore system that I guess is only being kept to that franchise. You know, shooting someone in the head and watching it explode into a bunch of small pieces was just extremely satisfying, and it was a lot of fun just to see the damage feedback in such an over-the-top way. What makes this strange though is that even Skyrim had a gore system. I mean, sure it wasn't as exaggerated as Fallout 4, but you could decapitate heads in some of the kill animations, so it is a bit strange that there's going to be absolutely no gore in Starfield whatsoever. I didn't expect the gore to be as exaggerated as Fallout 4, I thought that'd be something that would be kept specifically to that franchise because again it was very over the top and overdone, but I would have expected at least a little something, you know, something similar to decapitations in Skyrim, something that doesn't happen all the time, but it can happen occasionally and just adds to that feeling of awesome combat. Now overall that's not too big of a deal for me personally, I mean as long as there is some blood and reaction to being shot that's fine, though I will admit that it is a little bit disappointing that there's nothing at all and they're seemingly playing it this safe. So we know that there have been improvements made to the combat system since last year's showcase, however we don't yet know the extent of that. Now this id Software rumour is interesting because it's not a far-fetched theory to believe. We know that id Software helped out with the development of Fallout 4 gunplay, and we also know that Bethesda will often pull other studios in to help with areas of their larger projects, so this isn't an uncommon thing. So I'd say it's actually pretty likely that id Software has been helping improve Starfield after the very mixed reception last year. The only question is, how much? Well, the leaker said this, id Software has been working with Bethesda to overhaul the combat in Starfield. They joined the project back in August of last year. I have extremely close ties to an individual id Software who reported this to me. The combat is in a vastly better state than it was during the Xbox showcase last year. So they very clearly state that the combat has been overhauled, not modified, but overhauled, and is in a vastly better state. So this would mean that there have been a lot of changes, I'm guessing regarding recoil, enemy reactions, the power of each weapon, and you know, better animations, that sort of thing. In the footage we saw last year, enemies would not react to being shot at all. It looked like they were just characters using gun from a prop movie and all of the enemies were just simply actors. The problem is, although I have no doubt id Software are capable of making a great FPS mechanic, I am curious how far they can take that with absolutely no gore. I mean, there will be blood obviously, but how good can you make it feel without any gore at all? I mean, you know, how, how high can you really raise that gunplay when there is no sense of decapitation or anything like that. Now plenty of games have done this in the past and they have been considered great, but more modern games usually have some sort of gore system, especially with grenades and explosives. Uh, and something interesting that we did actually see in the Starfield showcase was someone get exploded by their own jetpack in the footage. Um, they get shot in the air, blasted up and just poof into dust basically. Again, no blood, no gore, nothing like that. Um, and although that's not a bad way of doing things, it is certainly different and perhaps a little bit disappointing, at least to me, I do like some gore in my games when I'm shooting people. But on top of that, one of the biggest things that I think needed to be fixed was the AI, they didn't really react to the player being there at all. 
they just do really stupid things like run away in the middle of a firefight, jump on top of tables like right here, and it just looked mind-numbingly boring and stupid overall. Now, it could be that they were showcasing this on an incredibly low difficulty, but personally I just think the combat AI was practically non-existent. So that's one of the things I'll be looking at in the June showcase. Show me some smart combat AI, Bethesda. And while we're on the topic of this, I just want to talk about last year's showcase a little bit more because something seemed weird to me. So we know that combat is a huge part of Bethesda games. Todd Howard himself has come out and said that the formula they follow is get a quest, go to place, kill enemies, get reward. Obviously quests can be a lot more complex than that, but you know, that's the basic gist. The point being that in almost every single quest, you're going to be fighting multiple enemies. Even within the open world, you can be walking around just exploring and you're constantly running into things that are trying to kill you. It's the way that Bethesda choose to keep things interesting. Now, personally, I think that just throwing enemies at the player non-stop gets boring after a while and that the player doesn't have to be fighting all the time to keep the game interesting, but that's not the point of this. The point is, combat has always been one of the main foundations in Bethesda games, so it's very, very strange to me that they would choose to premiere the game to the world with a half-ass combat system, something that the player is going to be doing 95% of the time. Now, I'm not a game developer, but surely when creating a game, the first thing you'd want to focus on and really nail are the things that the player are going to be doing the most. Now, don't forget, Starfield was supposed to launch in November of 2022. The game was just a few months away from launch when they showed this, and you're telling me they didn't even finish the combat system yet. The thing that the player would be doing for the majority of their playtime. I don't know, that just seems like a really weird choice to me. I mean, it may be a warning sign of things to come, but as I mentioned, you know, I'm not a game developer, I don't know how Bethesda do these sort of things. Maybe they add combat right at the very end of their development cycle, maybe it's one of the last things they save so they can focus on other areas, but to me it just seems like a very weird choice because combat is such a huge part of Bethesda games. Now I mentioned earlier that there were a ton of other concerns that I got from watching the gameplay footage last year, but we'll see how things improve in the next showcase in June. Regardless, it seems like a year ago Starfield was in a rough shape, and if they neglected such an important feature like combat for so long, who knows what else might be neglected right now. So from this leak we can assume that combat is going to be much better in the June showcase, which in my opinion it absolutely has to. Combat was one of the weakest points that we've seen back in that premiere. Otherwise, if it isn't, I imagine the reaction from the community isn't going to be that great. But if its software has been working on it for over the last year, I think we're all in for a nice treat, at least in the combat department. As I keep bringing up, I am still worried about other areas of this game, but that's something that I'll go into in another video, possibly after the June showcase, because I want to just see what has improved over the last year. Um, and then I might make a video talking about my thoughts of that showcase, perhaps a deep dive going into it and really looking at the video and uh, nitpicking all the little things I can find and sort of talk about my worries then. So anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I really hope Starfield looks much better overall again when we see it in June. Uh, I know that I probably sound like a hater from this video. Uh, I'm not. I'm a huge Bethesda Games fan. I love everything that they've put out and I am incredibly excited for Starfield. I just want it to be the best that it can possibly be. And I'm not going to turn a blind eye when I see things that worry me like a bad combat system, bad performance, uh, questionable graphics. Uh, some of the textures in that premiere were very, very low res, which kind of has me wonder what's going on. Because that's the thing that Bethesda usually excel at. They excel at that attention to detail within the world. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to turn a blind eye if things don't look that great from what they show us but I am still a Starfield fan and I really want it to be the best that it can possibly be when we get it later this year. So anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I really hope Starfield looks much better overall when we see it again in June. So what did you guys think of the combat in the first showcase and do you believe this rumor to be true? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed and that notification bell so you know when I next upload a video. Thank you guys for watching, this has been Jake and I will see you in the next video.